In this video, we're going to talk about using formulas to find Riemann sums. And we'll do a separate video for each one of these formulas. You might want to pause and write down these formulas if you haven't already done so in class. Let's start with the left Riemann sum. So left Riemann sum formula, I want you to notice, first of all, that we need to know that there are equal subintervals n to do these problems. Uh, the B minus A portion of the formula, those would be the bounds of integration. N would be your number of subintervals. And our F sub 0, that mean, or F naught, that means to uh, start uh, with your lower bound uh, first. Notice that the F sub N minus 1 means to stop one term short of your upper bound or your end bound. So let's go ahead and do a left Riemann sum approximation. So estimate using a left Riemann sum with n equals 4 equal subintervals of the integral from 1 to 9 of x plus 1 dx. And yes, of course, we could integrate this by hand to get the exact value, but this is a practice in how to do Riemann sums. The first thing we need to know is what we are skipping by. Skipping by is always b minus a over n. So if we plug in our bounds, we get 9 minus 1 divided by 4, which would be 2. So now we know we're skipping by 2's. Now, one way to do this is to think about it like a table. If we think about it like a table, we're starting at 1. We're skipping by 2's. So that would be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Notice those are all skipping by 2's. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to plug in and get values. So our formula, we have 9 minus 1 divided by 4, that's b minus a over n, gives us our 2. Now we're plugging in values. So if I plug in my 1, I would get 1 plus 1. Then I would plug in my 3, and I would get 3 plus 1. Then I would plug in my 5, getting 5 plus 1. And then finally my 7, which would give me my 7 plus 1. Remember, with a left Riemann sum, we never use the far right term. So now just doing the slight calculations we have here, we have 2 times 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. Well, that would be 2 times 20, which would give us an estimate of 40. Um, we will do more Riemann sum with formulas in other videos.